All right. What's on? Well, welcome everybody to our Cooking for Wellness Chef's Challenge. Tonight we have with us our program, um, our clinical program director, Angie, um, and our dietitian, Michelle, and Chef uh, Jason. And I am Darlene, the program manager at Cancer Support Community Central Ohio. So we're really excited to um, have Chef be challenged with these wonderful ingredients. <laughs> I'm drum so roll. excited. Drum <laughs> yeah, the scissors a drum roll. <laughs> beep, beep, beep. Yay! Yay! What do you got there, Chef? <laughs> oh, Chef, we're not hearing you. Oh, 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 I know what I did wrong. Hang on, everybody. My mistake. Oh. <laughs> I wanted him to look up. I wanted to see his full reaction. I know, me too. <laughs> yeah, I bet you did, Portia. <laughs> Jason, show us your face. Can you yeah. hear us? <laughs> <laughs> give, a, give us a facial gesture of how you feel right now. Oh, 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 all right, oh yeah. Portia, you may not have made, made his day. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, yeah now we there can. There we go. So we have calf liver mm -hmm. thanks to our friend Portia um, yeah I'm Portia <laughs> um, we have a package of seven whole grains and these seven whole grains include brown rice rye barley millet bulgur wheat quinoa and wild rice that's a nice <laughs> nice and that is a suggestion from Irene that's a nice so, blend there of whole grains. Who's just coming in right now. And some harissa. Um, I love harissa. It actually is a um, like a North African chili paste. So um, mm -hmm. really nice flavor there. So. And that is um, thanks to our friend, Wendy. Wendy actually went to the store and bought it specifically. So oh. that you can, you would be able yeah, to I, I love Harissa, so yeah. Mm -hmm. That's good. Wendy's looking for some good tips. <laughs> All right, let's see what we can do here. And you're totally not thrown off by the liver, are you? No, it's liver. <laughs> it's liver. <laughs> I was thrown <laughs> off. My, but... my, grandmother made, my grandmother made this all the time when I was young. Um, and I only ate hers because she made it taste like steak, mm -hmm. um, ah. rice and gravy. Um, but yeah. other than that, that's probably the last time I ate it was when I was young. <laughs> all right. Tell all us right. about liver, Michelle. I've never had it and there's a certain reason why but <laughs> um, yeah my mom my mom grew up on liver but not me um, so liver actually stores a lot of nutrients because it is an organ um, we definitely can really reap some benefits of it from a nutritional concept um, so some things that we have to think about with it being um, just the organ of the animal is that it's going to actually store things. So again, a rich source of iron and B12. Um, and so those are actually two things that are really not um, absorbed well in our body. So eating something like this uh, liver, and it doesn't matter what type of, of animal, there's different livers out there. Um, but again, because it is a storing organ, it's going to be full of, of nutrients. So B12 and iron specifically. Um, and then it does have a fair amount of our other B vitamins. So riboflavin, folate. Um, and one of our minerals that we don't think about is copper. And so we have to consider copper is a part of the absorption process of iron. Um, so mm -hmm. copper, um, manganese, psyllium, and um, zinc, they all kind of work together um, in the absorption process. So the amount of copper is actually 1600% of your RDI when it comes to consuming liver. So that's probably the highest I've ever seen um, from a copper perspective. Even in a multivitamin, copper is only about 100%. And that's not every multivitamin too. So you have to kind of read the labels on that. So liver is actually a very nutrient dense option. Yeah. I don't think whether you grew up on it, then you would eat it mostly. But if it's not something that anybody grew up on, I don't know that it's, this is an option that we 
often add into our diet as adults. Actually, a show of hands, who does liver? Because I could definitely be a single person out on this one. <laughs> Got a couple hands. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, liver. Oh, okay. Yeah. Why? And 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 I have, you know, this it's I marinate it and then I pan fry it. And mm -hmm. uh, when I pan fry it, then I, I glaze some onion and put it over there. That's when I was able to eat onion. But now oh, okay. since that's Angelica's favorite, so her part mm -hmm. will have onion rings, glazed mm -hmm. onion rings. Mine doesn't have any onions. So okay. yeah, I grew up in a liver. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Love it. Yeah. Same way, Irene. I, I soak mine. Do you soak yours in milk by any chance? No, I my I marinate it with um lemon. Oh soy, okay. soy sauce, garlic. Um a lot of garlic. Uh, sometimes I shave some ginger in it. M just marinate it for you know a few hours or so. Oh, okay. And and then it will taste like sweet and sour kind of thing, uh, yeah, yeah. but more of sour because of the lemon. I like I, I like a tart taste. So okay. and that way you know if you don't like liver, you can actually uh, <laughs> you can actually you actually uh, 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 what do you call this? Uh, and, and then make it like oh I like liver, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Because of the marinade, and then I pan fry that, and but you have to serve it right off from the fryer because you yeah, know yeah. It, it will really be 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 when it gets cold, it will be heavily. Um, it's it's thick and it's 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 hard. Mm -hmm. It becomes hard. So when when I when I make that, it's like okay, everybody ready for dinner. So give me half an hour. So la, 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 la. but it's already marinating for that. All of this pan fry it, and then glaze some onion. It's really good. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I see somebody's head shaking. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you have to be adventurous in food, especially now that you want to eat healthy food. I mean, that's, I know not everybody. I mean, there. everybody was born with uh with with hamburger and 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 hot dog here in the states, but I was not born with that, so. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't crave for those things. <laughs> Actually, yeah. you know what? In the Philippines, hamburger and, and hot dog are just snacks. They're just snacks to us. Oh, okay. So you want to make a meal around that? No, mm -hmm. no, no. Yeah. No. Yeah. And, and so the meal, the meal is with rice and vegetable and, and, and meat, either, mm -hmm. either pork or fish or. Sure. So, but but hamburger and, and hot dog, they are just snacks in the Philippines. So when I came here, I said, uh, I said, there's snack. No, that's for dinner. I said, oh. <laughs> yeah, and so this would be a protein source, everybody. Just if you wanted to put it in a category, it's a rich source of protein. Um, again, those minerals pieces. Um, and then one thing that we sometimes hear about when we're consuming um, liver or just sometimes in general, um, animal organs is that concern about the cholesterol amounts found in liver specifically. Um, and so if we think about it, we actually produce cholesterol mm -hmm. in our body. So it's not like an essential nutrient that we need to consume, but actually if we're consuming foods that have cholesterol, sometimes our body actually reacts and produces less. So it's not, um, it's not working against you by any means. And when we're looking at cardiovascular disease and benefiting from a health perspective, it's really reducing um, the types of saturated fat in our diet. So again, that liver is a lean protein in comparison to other things that we're consuming. Mm -hmm. So that, no, I know that can kind of be kind of tricky and kind of go back and forth. Um, so mm -hmm. this is actually leaner than our lean beef options. Wow. Yeah. I don't know that I'm going to make it, but you know, <laughs> has a lot more benefits than I ever imagined. I know. I know. I saw on the menu. I'm like, well, I know it's helpful, but or healthy because of the nutrient density of things, but I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If I didn't know it was liver, I'd probably still try it, but Thing. Come on, Michelle, don't be a chicken. <laughs> I'd rather eat chicken though. No. <laughs> but somebody might tell me something that tastes like chicken. I'm like, why would I just eat chicken then? If it doesn't taste any different, I don't understand. <laughs> yeah. it doesn't taste like 
his family, they, okay. they fix, they fix uh, liver like a, a beef. So they, you know, they marinate and then they boil and then they, they, they cut it into pieces or they blend the rice it and put more spices and then they have the tortilla and you eat that with a dip. You have mm. a liver dip. Oh, okay. Mm. That sounds good. Yeah, yeah, they put cheese in it too. So it might, it might change the flavor. So that might encourage yeah. some people here to try mm -hmm. it. <laughs> yes. I do like fragua. There you mm -hmm. go. Right, right, exactly. Like fragua, yes. Yeah. Uh, yes. All right, Jason. So I, yeah. Oh, Darlene and I at the same time. <laughs> we got to know what you're thinking over there. Did you see the Jason? Jason al dente? Looks like he's making a flower. I thought he'd do that. I know. Can you hear it, Jason? Oh, hey. Oh. Hey. hey. <laughs> he's focused. He's zoned in. He's so focused. Tell us what you're, uh, what's, what's on your mind over there. What are you doing? So I'm going to lean towards the North African flavor profile. So I have my um, my liver here soaking in, um, in milk. Um, it helps take a little bit of that that organy taste out. So um, and then I took a little bit of the harissa. And so it, it's going to kind of help tenderize it and it's going to flavor it uh, with that milk in here. And then I am making a, a uh, crumb uh, Chris, that I'm going to crisp these up, and it's a little bit of um, breadcrumbs and peanuts. Mm. Oh. oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Nice, nice heart healthy fat worked in there on that one. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm going to coat the I'm going to coat the um, liver with that, and we're still figuring out the rest. So. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so harissa is probably something that we've all kind of heard of. We may not have all utilized it a lot, but when we're looking at, there are some health benefits to it. So again, it's going to add some spice. Um, and so it's getting into the different types of spicy peppers. And so a part of the compounds found in chilies actually can be considered an antioxidant. So capsaicin is the antioxidant found in these types of, of peppers. And what we've actually found is that, remember, antioxidants are going to help improve the health of our cells. Um, and there's actually a research study out there that actually has shown that people that eat spicy foods um, may live longer. So again, that antioxidant is going to help that inflammation status of the body. Um, so it can improve heart health, again, reduce cancer-causing pieces. Um, it, it did say something that was listed about increasing metabolism. We're not going to get a huge boost in the metabolism when we're eating spicy foods, but it technically like does exist. It's not going to be anything that, that we see long-term with that. Um, but a lot of people use it for marinades, um, mm -hmm. and, or adding it like to hummus or even yogurt or dressings, um, to give it a nice, you know, bite to it, but you know, it's not overpowering. Um, and so just some other ways to kind of consider utilizing for us that, cause I don't I think that's kind of like a newer option for us in our grocery stores. Okay. So, yeah. Yep. So there's little benefits that we can add to things. Um, and again, it's spicy. Um, and so if we think about the different, um, hot sauces that are out on the market, they tend to be a lot higher in sodium and harissa yeah. is not. So that's one of the. The balances that we can find with with switching over to something like that. Michelle, could you explain what's the what what's the seven grains? Uh, yeah, that was talking about please. Yeah, so what he listed in that specific one, they're actually all gluten free, unless I miss miss heard one. Um, but your um, millet, all the different rices, and quinoa are gluten-free options. So that's something that some people don't always tolerate um, gluten. Um, it can be an ant or an inflammatory thing for some of our GI tracts. Um, so that's something to kind of consider with that. But with it being um, those different grains, what we want to consider that it's probably a good source of fiber um, because of that. And we're going to get some protein with that too, especially with the uh, quinoa that's in there. So remember quinoa is more of a seed if yeah. we had to categorize it specifically, but yeah, definitely a good source of fiber in that one. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. 
Michelle, I had actually taken a picture of the label. Oh, um, yeah. And Great, the fiber um, for um, um, per cup, there's, um, it says serving size is one pouch, but then it says per cup, and then it gives me per pouch. So per cup, the fiber is four grams. Okay. For the entire pouch, it's seven grams. Um, okay. There is uh, zero cholesterol and 310 milligrams of sodium. And sodium. Okay. So that, what was the percentage of sodium when you said the 300? 13%. Fifteen percent. Okay, so we have to look at sodium kind of more in the in the volume, and that's really that daily value. That's what that percentage that Darlene just provided. So the percentage of thirteen percent. So we, if something's ten percent or higher, we would consider that um, technically a moderate to high content of of sodium. Um, and with that being just kind of like a pre made pouch, it sounds like almost on that. So we're so it might be broken down a little bit more. It might be having some flavorings to it. So there's probably some salt added into it to give it some more um, umph and taste. Um, but the four grams of fiber per serving is actually considered a good source of fiber. Okay. So yeah, there's probably some other options that might be a little bit higher in that because if we think about it with it being more of a gluten-free option, or at least low in gluten, because barley, I'm sorry, the bulgur in it is going to give you something like a little bit of, of gluten. Um, but like rice, those two options are not necessarily that high in um, fiber. But again, with the quinoa um, and the millet and those being whole grains, we're getting probably more fiber from those options okay. in that blend specifically. Okay. Man, you guys should have done a, 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 a plate for this. Man, I'd be there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm salivating. <laughs> um, there's probably going to be some you could come pick up tomorrow, Portia. All right. <laughs> All right. I don't think anybody's going to be fighting at you for it. <laughs> we know oh. Jason's kids aren't. <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> they will not at all. <laughs> But you got your spice from Harissa versus your paprika. No, mm -hmm. I, I snuck in some. Of course you did. <laughs> <laughs> I put, Irene and I will come and get it. <laughs> I put a little smoked paprika in the um, uh, peanut and breadcrumb. <laughs> gotcha. gotcha. Well, no, I, had, I had to sneak it in there some way. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> so is that grain mixture pre-cooked? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I always found like since we don't necessarily do a lot of these types of grains, um, a lot of times if you would go to um, and some of the giant eagles, but also maybe some other stores, they have things built built in like bulk. So you can just try a little bit versus investing in like one to two pound portion of the different grains that are out there just so you don't have a full commitment if it's not something that you really ended up liking or not too. So that's always an option. Um, but blends are really nice because you're going to get a bunch of different options. Um, and then the texture can be a lot more palatable. Sometimes we don't like certain things because of the texture of it versus the taste. Um, I make quinoa, but my husband just kind of looks at it. He doesn't. But he'll eat rice, but he won't eat quinoa. I'm like, to me, they're the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just told the same thing to someone yesterday. Did you? Did they believe you? Because you didn't believe me. They were like, I don't like quinoa. I said, well, basically, it's like eating rice. So, yeah. <laughs> One in the two. All right. Definitely. So, I got this down. I'm going to um, the rice. I'm going to. Um, it's already pretty much pre cooked. So, add some things to it some cilantro some diced tomatoes, and I'm going to make a peanut butter harissa sauce to drizzle over this whole thing. Okay. And then, Chef, did the peanuts come into play just because it's adding a little bit more fat because the liver is on the leaner side? Yes. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. Got some spinach here. Gotta have a vegetable, everybody. Of course. Of course. 
diced tomatoes. This is all going in here and making like a really nice, I'm gonna add some smoked some paprika to this. Yeah, of course you are. <laughs> <laughs> Hitting all my favorites, including the spinach. That's mm -hmm. great. Huh. Happy, happy. <laughs> <laughs> So Jason, um, it looks like the liver cooks fairly quickly. Yeah, quick, really quickly. Um, just browning it. And then I got the oven on. So just, it, it shouldn't take long at all because they were very, actually pretty thin. So how do you, how do you know when it's done? Not that I'm ever going to cook it, but they, I <laughs> was going Still knowledge. to Still knowledge <laughs> why not angie when portia asked me what did he say how long how do you know when it's done <laughs> just, just no no i'm just <laughs> i knew you were gonna say that <laughs> um no with that liver um because it was really thin really it's only gonna take a couple of minutes um you know most things like steak or anything like that you know because of the color but liver doesn't take that long and it turns to a, um, I don't want to say like a gray, but almost like a grayish color. So, and it becomes very tender. So hmm. I'm going to take some ginger, got some fresh ginger here, all these nice flavors. I got spinach, tomatoes, some ginger. Putting that in this mixture with the seven grains. I'm gonna put a little bit of ginger in the sauce. The peanut butter harissa sauce. Hmm. Spicy and sweet. Nice. Yeah. Like I said, we're going North African, so. Mm -hmm. There's a, I didn't tell you guys, I put a little bit of garlic and coriander when I was uh, flavoring the um, liver. So I wanted to mimic all of those type of flavors. Is a harissa very um, hot or is it mild or what is it? Harissa can come in different um, flavor. It can be very spicy or it can be mild. So um, I know sometimes in the store, you'll, they'll have jars right next to each other that'll say uh, spicy or um, mild. You go in Giant Eagle, they'll have it right, right next to each other. Thank you. Peanut, peanut butter. <laughs> First you take the peanuts and, oh, sorry, had a flashback. <laughs> Third grade. A little bit of ginger. Yeah, so we have a good source of fiber, a good source of heart healthy fat with the peanut butter in this dish as well. <laughs> Nobody has any actually specific questions. We're all like engaged on what Jeff's doing right now, <laughs> like how this is all going to come together. And I'm ferociously writing notes and, and everything. <laughs> you know, I'm going to be looking at that recipe. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, Chef, what are you doing with the spinach and tomatoes? That I'm simmering and I'm going to um, add the, the seven grains to that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> That's definitely the one good thing about like having a pre made. Um, grains that you can fluff it however you want. Yes. And add some fiber with different veggies op veggie options. So Michelle, um, I know that they recommend having fish at least three times a week and you know, mm -hmm. watching your eggs. Um, but if somebody was going to want to incorporate an organ meat like liver because of the um, dense nutrients that it has, the nutrient mm -hmm. density, would it be like once a month, every other week, once a week? Yeah, I think you probably do it a couple times a week and still kind of still meet the heart healthy guidelines um, overall. Yeah, absolutely. A couple times a week. Okay. Yeah. No, a couple times a month. I'm sorry. Like every other week. There's not. 
Yep. Yeah, so but again, it is leaner. A little cumin and in here, and we'll put a little cilantro also in here with the spinach and the man that smells good already. <laughs> Darlene, you haven't gone over to check it out yet. Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> When I go over to tear down the, the laptop and the sound system, it, the, you open the door and the aroma is just there. You can imagine. Yeah. So I'm just going to add us a little bit of veggie stock to this just to kind of hydrate that uh, the rice, uh, the seven grains that are already cooked. So just. A little cilantro. I'm gonna let that kind of simmer. I got my peanut butter harissa sauce over here, and I added this. I'm 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 adding this to the stove. I added a little stock to the peanut butter harissa sauce so that I can melt the peanut butter. So I just just on low, just enough to melt the peanut butter to make it into a sauce with that harissa. Was it? Uh, what kind of what kind of stock? Just this veggie stock that I'm used that I added to the rice. Okay. You can use whatever stock you have on hand. Okay. Oh man. So did any of you come pick up an herb garden on Saturday? You don't know. Yes. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah, a good amount did. Looks like. Yeah. Yeah. They're they so nice. That was very nice. Thank you. Yeah, so um, Michelle, I don't know if I we told you yet, but so they made four big planters for us with different herbs in them. So oh. to be able to use for um, our classes. Oh, so, awesome. Um, yeah, and there's um, all different kinds of, of stuff in it. So there's Kind of the basil and rosemary and mm -hmm. um those but then there's some like unusual stuff so the one i remember because i was talking to jason about it was pineapple sage yeah oh um, i've never heard of that yeah so it's got a little sweetness to it then I'm, i would assume i yeah it smells a little bit like pineapple and then and there's um some lemongrass and okay. i don't know there's probably 10 or 12 different things out there so oh, that's awesome <laughs> So I don't know if you had time to look at them, Jason, when you got here or not. I didn't. I haven't looked at them yet, but I'm glad you just reminded me. Yeah. So, and I told everyone in the office that I am not responsible for keeping them alive. <laughs> 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 that is not my skill set whatsoever, but we do have a couple people who have very, do have a very good green thumb. Thank goodness. So there you go. Yeah. This is your five minute warning, Chef. Five minutes. I'm about to, I'm about ready to plate. Oh okay, man, I'm ready it. to eat. <laughs> <laughs> I really thought harissa and liver together was going to be a hard combo, but apparently not. <laughs> no. Nothing stumps Jason. No. Not really. I think, <laughs> right. I mean, he pondered one when I was here, but other than that, he just goes for it. Yeah. Different skill set than us, but we can still learn something new. Mm -hmm. yeah, we sure do. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Chef Jason, don't give up your day job. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you guys knew I'm 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 moonlight as a wedding singer. <laughs> oh, no. You're gonna be really busy this summer. <laughs> yeah. I love to hear you sing. <laughs> I feel like food and music just automatically go together. They are the universal code of bringing all together. So yeah. so much power in music and food. Mm -hmm. Very true. Man, you are meticulous about your your slide, aren't you, Chef? Yes. 
<laughs> I have a clean area. Yes, ma'am. All right. Let's get ready to rumble. Oh, Carolina is waiting for you. <laughs> Wish we had smell o vision. Smell o vision, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Someday, someday yes. it'll exist. Hey, we've been talking about that since I was young, and now it's 2021. This is supposed to be the time of the Jetsons. Yes. Yeah. True. Yeah. Sorry, no flying cars yet. <laughs> <laughs> We're supposed to have the flying cars, the robotic maids, um, you know, the automatic uh, closets. Yes. <laughs> All right, let's, how are we gonna plate this up? I'm very excited to see a liver recipe without onions because of when right. we uh, chose that, I immediately, you know, jumped on to like, liver recipes and everything had onion everything had onion like can we like do liver without onions and jason has proven is, we yeah, can. Yeah. you can i know yeah. i didn't put the onions in this i yeah. i even told darlene we gotta have an onion <laughs> <laughs> my mother that's made, all we know <laughs> my mother made a delicious liver without onions she simmered the liver in a um some kind of tomato product whether it was ketchup or tomato soup or canned tomatoes and it turned out so tender there were no onions in it and no bacon okay. huh. wow there you go sounds good and it smells good <laughs> i might be biased though but just rub it in <laughs> <laughs> that's good sell it turn us all into liver eaters Yes. I had to turn it's myself sorry. into a liver. Yeah. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll be over here shortly. Mm -hmm. Jason, how do you make liver look pretty? <laughs> I know. <laughs> I don't know. Kind of a beige plate. <laughs> <laughs> you should have some spinach and tomato brighten it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when you said it turns gray when it's brown, that doesn't sound very eye appealing. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Great. I don't I don't know about gray food. Hmm. Well, I think it's the garnish on top. Yeah, that's how you make it pretty. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> All right, yeah, I can't wait to see it up close. Oh, that little great. That, that looks nice. Bravo. Yeah. Wow. wow. Great job. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. you. Did it. Yeah. And you beat the clock. He did. I am trying he? that next week. So that's, that's <laughs> I sauces, am. That is delicious looking. Peanut yeah. butter and stock and your spices. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Eat. Wow. All right. Mm -hmm. Who's going to try it? I see Darlene firmly sitting in her chair. <laughs> I, I, I am. Um, Angie, we want you to try it. I'm at home, my friends. Um, <laughs> I'm very happy That's to go home and try it. <laughs> Darlene has to come try it. There we what go. about right. you, Jason? Are you going to dare? Uh, no. <laughs> oh. oh, I thought you said you grew up on <laughs> liver. No so good it really is i've cooked good. a lot of things i've cooked a lot of things that i don't like <laughs> okay liver really is good though it is yeah let's see is that okay. you carol you eat uh -huh. you like liver yeah no? i grew Honor. up with it i i was it wasn't that fancy but um mm -hmm. 
because we had meat, potato, vegetable kind of, you know, oh. uh, meals, but I loved it. And then, of course, when I was pregnant, you always had to have it once a week, you know. That's but, not bad at all. <laughs> it's a good oh, source of folate, yeah. not that you need during pregnancy, so... That yeah, actually is really that. good. Yeah. It's got just the right amount of little spice to it. I think, oh. you, should, I think yeah. you should try it, Jason. I just he did. did. He did. Yeah. just did. And he did his happy dance. <laughs> <laughs> so you said it was not half bad? Is that what you said? It wasn't half bad at all. Okay. That's right. Does that I mean it was half good? Like... <laughs> I think the, the, the little the little uh, boy in me might have just been redeemed now, and I. <laughs> um, my mom yeah. used to cook. My mom used to cook chicken liver, and I hated it. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, hmm. That was yeah. nice. Oh. Uh, that. Hey, really? If there's something left over tomorrow. <laughs> Text me. <laughs> I promise there will be. I mean, unless yeah. Charlene, okay. you think you're going to eat it all tonight? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, it took her a little while to get over there, didn't it? <laughs> Angie, if you if you have some tomorrow, just don't cook it in a microwave real long because I think it'll get tough on you. Oh, okay. Okay. I can yeah. see that. Yeah. <laughs> Put it in the oven. Yeah. Put it in the oven to heat up. All right, here's yeah. one. Just going for it. Going for it. Okay. Yeah, Jason, what would your best reheat tip be? Like they say, probably just stick it in the oven for just a tad because you don't want to dry it out. Mm. Okay. Nice and tender. She was able to cut it with the fork. Yes. Your face. Yeah. I know. Off camera. Yay or nay? Oh. Did you do it? Yeah. <laughs> she said it's delicious. Oh. There we go. Do you know yeah. that was liver, Darlene? That's what I'm trying to figure out if you can like hide it. <laughs> <laughs> if you could hide it, I would I would do it. Just don't say what it is. Right? You can, yeah. You, said you, can still taste, you can still taste this liver, but it's not an overpowering like <laughs> liver. Okay. <laughs> Well, What's baby the, liver uh, is uh, not as strong as the uh, regular liver. So baby beef is always the best. Mm, yeah. Oh, okay. That makes sense. I could see yeah. that. Yeah. Jason's going for more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's his dinner tonight. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm glad you so guys the, did liver. Is, is the harissa that's there, is it spicy? So is there any kick to it or is it just more flavorful a little okay. kick got a kick okay, okay. Mm. it's got a little kick okay but it's not a um well i like spice so i might be biased it's, not, <laughs> it's got just enough like ooh, but mm -hmm. uh, that's I good like all right so uh, this is the most Jason's like ever it. eaten i know <laughs> it took him back <laughs> yeah, Portia, you you made a believer out of him. I tell you, I'm a lifelong um, anemic, so it's like okay. <clears throat> my favorite, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I might have been converted. I might have been converted to liver again. All right, oh. there we go. I've not had liver, literally, since my grandmother was alive. Oh, wow. and probably probably since I was younger because I was in college. She passed in 2009. Mm -hmm. I was in, I was away in, while I, probably, um, late nineties. Okay. okay. Yeah, no. that's good. Thank it's you guys so much. Like so I don't know if I would like it anymore. <laughs> I used to like it. Yeah. Uh -huh. As a kid. Well, Darlene taught me, I didn't know there was pork liver, but Darlene taught me there's pork. I've heard of chicken and beef liver, of course. But... Mm -hmm. I didn't know there was pork liver either. I yeah. didn't either. 
Yeah, I grew up um, where mom would make all three different kinds. And I was very excited to hear about this beef liver Mm because she would make a sweet and sour sauce with the beef. And I believe it might have been just a tad overcooked because of it was always dried out and hard. So yeah, <laughs> <laughs> might have been. <laughs> I could yeah. not cut my mom's liver, um, her, her beef liver, with a fork like I did with Jason's tonight. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that that was good. Thank you. You guys have made my dream come true. Thank you. (laughs) Experiment works, didn't it? I'll let you guys know persistence pays off. She asked three times and we finally like (laughs) gave in. Yeah, that's what Lori said. And it's it's the same way with the Harissa. Wendy um, actually had to go out and get it for us. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. No. And thank you yeah. for showing that I could use harissa with liver. The only recipes I found is, have been with chicken. Really? Yeah. I, you know what? I use. I'm. I'm giving you guys a secret. I use harissa anytime you like because I like spice and and it gives a lot of good flavor. You know another way you can use harissa? I do this when I roast potatoes. Ooh. Oh really? Oh. I Take could them. totally see that. I, I do a potato medley with sweet potatoes, um, Yukon potatoes and red skin and mm-hmm. i will um toss them in a little harissa of course and some other seasonings and then roast them off and so that harissa it has a little spice but it's going to also um bring out a little sweetness too as you're roasting it so that's the the, the it, it gives a nice little flavor um mm-hmm. layer of flavor to your potatoes and you can use those as a side dish as a breakfast potato with a nice over medium egg on top Mm. oh that sounds oh, good yeah that yeah. Can do that do a hash yeah make it into a hash now wow. i can use my harissa yes <laughs> <laughs> but yeah you can good. use harissa on anything chicken put it well now on liver <laughs> yeah <laughs> um seafood you know you can add it to some some salmon or shrimp and Ooh, you know okay. but i would then i would pair it if i'm going to do that if you're going to put it with some seafood maybe have a, a salsa or something that has some a little acidity and a little sweetness okay. to it. Mm-hmm. So um, like a pineapple or mango salsa or something like that, that can help uh, add a little sweetness to balance out a little bit of that spice. Okay. <laughs> okay. You, you couldn't see my face, could you, Chef? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. I don't like fruit and meat together. I know. <laughs> I don't either. Uh-oh. <laughs> Jeff is very aware of all the things I like and don't. I know. Like. Angie and her. Or, or more but I, I don't like. <laughs> uh-huh. But I, I have my own, so we're, we're, we're good and even, Angie. <laughs> yeah. 